Hey you guys, so back again with a message from the Lord. Y'all bear with me because this message is hard and I'm going to have to give it to y'all how God gave it to me. God um, has been showing me in the spirit and in the natural caskets. And... He told me Friday night because of what these pastors are doing and making a mockery out of him. He said that some of them were going to die. Whenever um, a few minutes ago God told me clearly, death in the pulpit. Don't find it strange when you start seeing some of these leaders just drop dead in the pulpit. And God is saying, because you made a mockery in my house, my God, that's where I'm going to deal with you at. Because you made a mockery and turned my house until a place of idolatry, I'm going to deal with you there. I have been talking to y'all. I have been telling y'all to get yourself together. God has even allowed some of these pastors to be exposed. But he said, because you have not repented, because you are running, and God said there's no place to run and no place to hide, you can run all you want to. God is still going to deal with you. You can get kicked out of one church and go run to another church like you ain't did nothing wrong. God is still going to deal with you. He said death in the pulpit. Because y'all had made a mockery out of his name. Turn his house of prayer into a den of thieves. He's going to deal with you where you made a mockery of him at. Okay, y'all, this word is hard for me because I seen it in the spirit. And then God clearly said, death in the pulpit. Because of your disobedience, your children will be cursed with the curse. Don't believe me? Go ask David after he got another man of God, Uriah, killed because he wanted Bathsheba. His children had to suffer. Don't believe me? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and it talks about the curses of being disobedient. God is not playing in this hour. Leaders in the church, get it together. God is saying he's tired of y'all pimping in the pulpit. He's tired of y'all can't keep y'all self under the spirit of self-control. He's tired of you. I don't got to give it to y'all how God has given it to me. Being church whores. Going after innocent women. Men. Of God in the church. Half of y'all got wives. Y'all sleeping around on your wives. Going against y'all marriage covenant. And making marriage a mockery. And covenant and marriage is a covenant of God. And that a covenant of God. And that is sacred. And y'all making y'all wife a mockery. It's embarrassing to God and it's embarrassing to your wife. God said he's going to deal with you. He's going to deal with you. Deal with you. Wherever you're making a mockery of him at. And a lot of y'all are doing it in the church. And God says death in the pulpit. So guys, don't find it strange when we start seeing people drop dead in the pulpit. He is tired. Tired. You are operating in an unclean vessel. The Holy Spirit cannot dwell in an unclean vessel. So now you're operating in demonic entities because you are unclean. You won't repent. You won't get yourself back together. God is saying again, death in the pulpit. This word is hard for me because I'm clearly seeing, I clearly saw people in the spirit dropping dead. I'm clearly seeing caskets. And if you be in that position where God deal with you and you drop that, you're going straight to hell. 
because he gave you enough time to repent. But when you drop that, you ain't going to have enough time to repent. So you're going to hell. Again, this is a warning and it's not easy, but it is necessary. Death in the pulpit. I done seen stuff with my own eyes about some leaders and y'all think it's okay. God said, you can run, but you can't hide. There's really no place to run, no place to hide because he sees all and he knows all. And you think you're running and you're getting away, but you're only getting by. Because your grace is about to run out. All right, you guys. But God is clearly staying deaf in the pulpit. And I know I had to do this because God showed show me 911 twice. Y'all, stay prayed up. But death is coming in the pulpit. Okay? I love you guys. And I will talk to y'all later.